welcome back to Music Messages Tarot, everybody. I hope you're doing really well. This video is for the sign of Cancer, for those who resonate as part of the Twin Flame Collective. You don't have to be a Cancer. You or your partner or your person may have Cancer influences in your chart, or you could just find that you resonate with this video. Please also feel free to cross-watch the other uh, videos for the other signs and elements, okay? Hope you're all doing really well. Um, for some reason, I have the Air Supply song, All Out of Love, coming through. So I'm not sure if that relates to anybody. It's, once again, an older song. Okay. But um, I'm thinking maybe that's how your DM is feeling towards you, Divine Feminine. We are going to tap into your energies, your, DM ener your DM's energies, and then get some direct messages from the DM's higher self at the end of the video. Okay, everything's okay. It says, don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. This speaks to surrendering to the process. I'm getting that this is on both sides. Usually I get this a little bit heavier for the Divine Masculine, but this week I've been picking up on an anxiety from the Divine Feminines in our collective. Uh, Divine Feminine, just release and relax. Don't overthink it. Don't think through your egoic mind too much or your logical mind too much trying to control the situation just allow it to unfold in front of you. Do some research, it says. You need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding, okay? I'm getting that for some of you and possibly your masculines as well. The twin flame journey may be something that's new to you and maybe that's why you're having some difficulty letting go during this process. You may wanna do some research or watch some videos about what twin flames are, what the journey is like, why it's so important to release and let go during this process. Um, there are definitely a lot of challenges. It, it's a challenging journey for a lot of people, okay? But it ultimately is a very rewarding one because you end up bettering yourself. You end up doing a lot of shadow work on yourself and self-improvement throughout the process, okay? So I'm just getting that for some of you tuning in, this might be something that's relatively new. Maybe you just heard the term twin flame recently um, because of your connection with someone that you think might be your twin, all right? For others of you, if you've been on this journey for a while, this might just mean that you need to kind of tap back into what the process and the journey is all about. Um, maybe some of you have strayed a little bit from that element of self-improvement. It doesn't mean that you won't receive communication or come into union with your person. Uh, it just means that you need to make sure you're also doing that shadow work on yourself and focusing on bettering yourself as a person, raising your own frequency, okay? Because in the end, everything's okay. Everything is happening according to divine timing and everything is going to work out for your highest good. It says goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. I am getting a heavy energy of some people who have just started their twin flame journey or have just become cognizant of their twin flame journey for those tuning into this video. Um, for others of you, you're ending one karmic cycle. You're about to step into this new phase um, and that's going to bring you and your person even closer on an energetic level. Okay, so that's what I'm receiving for you so far, Cancer. Beautiful energies. Okay, let's see what else wants to come through. We're going to shift over to the Herbal Astrology deck. Chamomile Inner Peace, okay? Yeah, I'm getting that very strong Nine of Swords type energy that I was picking up for a few other signs, particularly as it relates to the Divine Feminines, okay? Some of us are in this very strong state of anxiety, Nine of Swords, up at night, it may be because of energy that you're subconsciously receiving from your divine masculines because many of them are also in this anxious state. You know, a lot of them want to come towards you, want to make that, take that first step, but they're just in their head about it. And you're kind of subconsciously picking up on that anxiety. But I also do feel that this is independent to the DF side as well. For some reason, I'm just picking up on many divine feminines who are too much in their logical mind about trying to control their twin flame journey or connection at the moment. Particularly if this is something that's new to you and you're not really used to what the twin flame journey is all about, you're most likely going to be somebody who's trying to control the situation the way you may have approached other relationships in your life in the past, okay? 
That's not really how the twin flame journey works. It's all about surrender. It's all about bettering yourself as a person as you come into union with your twin. Um, sometimes union doesn't even take place in the physical world every, you know, for every incarnation. But um, I do get a strong energy of this being a time period where a lot of twin flames are coming into union with one another. Um, and so there is a very strong possibility that you will be in communication with your twin or, and you will be um, eventually having a relationship with your twin. But um, some of you should just look into what, what this process is about. Um, and again, if you've been on the journey for a while, I think this is just a reminder to go back to your own self-improvement, your own inner peace, allowing yourself to surrender emotionally because that's, that's really what's going to best serve you. And then ultimately, that is what best serves your connection with this other person as well. Okay. Okay. Angel's trumpet which is death, okay? So this has to do with ending one cycle and moving into another in your life, all right? Orange flowers might be significant to someone. Someone might really like bats or working with crystals as well. Someone may be a Scorpio that you're dealing with, Cancer. So maybe your person is a Scorpio or someone has Scorpio in their chart, all right? But I just do get, I get the same energy off of this card that I get from the death card in the tarot and it directly relates to ending one cycle, starting another. Maybe some of you just encountered your twin flame recently and maybe that's what's kind of sparked you to start looking into videos like this and researching the process and researching what a twin flame e even is. All right, so I think that's gonna resonate with some people listening. Um, some of you may have even gone through a mini spiritual awakening when you came in contact with someone new that you just met because this person you recognize this person on a soul level. Maybe you didn't understand why they had such a profound impact on you, even if you didn't interact with them very much in the 3D. So that's definitely gonna be a message very specific to someone, but it is relevant to somebody who's going to come across this video. For others of you, you can have been on this journey for a while, but for some reason you're at a point where you're in this Nine of Swords anxiety energy. You're needing to kind of let go of trying to control it and I think you need to kind of get back to your roots about what the best practices are for self-care and for developing your own well-being and, and raising your own frequency throughout this process. Because for many of you, you are embarking on a new phase of the process, all right? So some of you, this might look like communication. This is going to be the next step in your twin flame journey and and you know, possibly communicating more frequently or communicating, you know, ending the separation uh, phase with your person may be the next step for some of you. And I do get a heavy energy that that is the case for many of you. All right. And in some cases, um, so we got the magician, which to me has the same meaning as the magician card in the tarot deck, the traditional tarot. Um, Aries energy. So somebody may have Aries in their chart as well, Cancer. But um, one or both of you is trying to manifest the other person right now. So you may not even be doing this on a conscious level. This might be something that's happening um, more subconsciously. But each of you is kind of longing for the other person's energy right now. Um, I'm seeing a divine masculine up at night. I got this image the other day for one of my readings. I'm seeing him in the Nine of Swords. So if you're in Nine of Swords energy right now, DF, it's most likely being influenced by your masculine's level of anxiety. He wants to come towards you, but I'm getting a sense that so he's, he's having these heavy, obsessive thoughts of you. You're running through his mind more often than not, like 24 hours a day at this point. And in that way, you know, even if he's not consciously trying to manifest you, he's inadvertently trying to manifest your energy, okay? Um, I do get that for one or both of you, you're going to be not only embarking on a new phase in your twin flame journey, but you're you're making some endings. You're, you're taking steps to shed things from both of your lives that aren't working at the moment, and you're taking steps in a new direction. The new direction that you're both heading in is for your highest good, and it's also going to lead to most likely communication and it's, it's going to actually serve your connection. Um, I can't speak to timelines because everyone's twin flame journey is a little bit different. It unfolds according to divine timing. Okay, it's not something that we can control through our logical minds, but the endings that both of you are making in your lives will most likely lead to you two being in more consistent communication. Um, 
and ultimately they're going to be for your highest good, which is the most important thing. Let's get some messages from your DM's higher self right now. Okay, very direct. All right, so he's having really strong, passionate fantasies about you right now, Cancer. Um, other people in his life have heard him. They've made him a little feel a little bit more vulnerable. And that, that might be why he's in this Nine of Swords magician energy where he wants to manifest you because he's really feeling unsure of himself right now. You are too nice. I don't deserve your kindness. So again, with those... Those uh, ruminations of low self-esteem that some of the divine masculines have been kind of going through right now, they don't feel they deserve this connection, but they know they want it very heavily. I'm obsessed with you, and that landed right underneath the sex card here. So some of you are, some of them are having these obsessive sexual fantasies of you right now, DF. Could be another reason why you are experiencing Nine of Swords at night if you are. I'm getting a very clear image of a divine feminine also kind of tossing and turning. And you're not really knowing why because nothing on the conscious, uh, nothing in your conscious world is necessarily keeping you up. So you don't know where all this like excessive jittery energy is coming from. No one understands me but you. Okay, he feels like he wants your healing. He wants your nurturing energy here. And I don't understand. So he's having trouble grappling with this process, this twin flame journey as well. All right. It's not something that he is used to. For some of you, like I said, this might have been a relatively recent meeting is what I'm picking up, Cancer. So for if that resonates with you, please, please comment on this video because I'd like to know who that message is for. But for others of you who've been on this journey for a while, your twin might not have realized what was happening. They might not have realized the significance of the connection. They might not have realized what a twin flame even was, um, you know, or didn't want to acknowledge it on a conscious level. And they're still a little bit confused by what they're feeling and what this might mean for them in their lives. But they know they're obsessed with you. <laughs> I mean, the sexual energy from the DMs this week has been really, really heavy and the obsessive energy. It's almost like veering into devil energy a little bit for some of them, um, but they, you know, at the same time, they're kind of desperate for your nurturing and healing energy, DF. So just be patient with the process. Remember to lean into your own self-care and your self-growth during, during this time. Um, but for some of you, you are gonna be receiving communication because this urge right here, these emotions are pushing your DM to take those steps forward with you, okay? And if you do receive communication, that's another thing I'd love to hear about in the comment section. All right, if this resonated, if you can like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help our channel grow. Otherwise, I am just sending you peace and harmony for today, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.